Ireland is a place of foggy valleys, timeless tales, and distinctive character. But there's one feature that subtly catches the eye. Hazel eyes. Beyond green or blue, Ireland holds one of the world's highest concentrations of hazel eyes. But what led to this? And what can it tell us about Irish genetic heritage? Hazel eyes are enigmatic, layered, and constantly shifting, much like the island they belong to. In this video, we're exploring Ireland's genetic depths, following ancient movements, Stone Age cultivators, Scandinavian invaders, and even legendary Celts who contributed to the modern Irish gaze. We'll reveal how Ireland's genetic journey, influenced by separation and blending together, formed the ideal conditions for hazel eyes to flourish. Hazel eyes stand among the most unusual and intricate eye colors on Earth. Different from blue, green, or brown eyes, hazel eyes combine several pigments and optical phenomena. Typical hazel eyes display a gold or brown core around the pupil that transitions into green, gray, or even amber shades at the outer edges. Their look can shift based on light, what you wear, and even how you feel, earning them the name chameleon eyes. The shade results from moderate melanin amounts in the iris's front layer, paired with Rayleigh scattering, the same process that gives the sky its blue color. Hazel eyes carry more melanin than blue or green types, but less than pure brown ones. They sit precisely between, both in genetics and appearance. What makes hazel eyes particularly fascinating in Ireland is their frequency within a fairly compact population. Around the world, hazel eyes are uncommon. Only 5-8% to of people possess them. But in Ireland, data suggests up to 18-25% to of the population carries hazel eyes, particularly in western and southern areas. This raises an important question. Why do hazel eyes appear so much more often in Ireland? The explanation comes from a special combination of old ancestry and geographic separation mixed with exactly the right level of genetic blending. To grasp hazel eyes in Ireland, we need to travel back to an era before Celts, before nations, before recorded time. The earliest confirmed people in Ireland were Mesolithic hunting and gathering communities who came roughly 10,000 years ago following the final ice age. Ancient DNA from one of these first arrivals, discovered in a cave at Ballynahaddy near Belfast, showed an unexpected combination of features, darker pigmentation, dark hair, and blue eyes. This early genetic base was quickly joined by Neolithic farming people who came from the Near East and Europe near 4000 BC. These farmers carried lighter skin shades and different genetic makeups, featuring genes for brown and hazel eyes. They mixed with the current hunter-gatherer groups, forming one of the first layers of genetic blending in Ireland. These early groups were fairly separated, especially on an island like Ireland. That separation maintained specific traits, including those connected to intermediate eye shades like hazel. The pairing of Mesolithic blue eye genes and Neolithic brown eye genes quickly formed the perfect setting for hazel eyes to start showing up. By the time the Neolithic period transitioned to the Bronze Age, Ireland had built a unique genetic character, one based on early movements but steadied by centuries of geographic separation. Near 2500 to 2000 years ago, the island of Ireland moved to the Celtic area, a period of fresh languages, fresh beliefs, and yes, fresh DNA. The Celts were Indo-European tribes who probably migrated from Central Europe and the western edges of the steppes. Their coming didn't totally replace Ireland's earlier groups, but it did bring fresh layers of genetic influence especially in features connected to skin shade, hair, and eye color. Celtic groups possessed a varied collection of pigmentation genes. While many leaned toward blue or green eyes, they also possessed variants that could mix with current brown eye features in Ireland. This formed a broader spectrum of intermediate eye shades, and hazel sat right at the middle of that range. Instead of bringing hazel eyes directly, the Celts expanded the variety that was already there. By mixing with earlier Neolithic and Mesolithic communities, the gene pool grew richer, more intricate, and more open to variation. As Celtic culture expanded across Ireland, the genetic effect was stronger in certain areas than others, particularly in the west and south, where modern hazel frequencies remained highest. The Celtic period wasn't the final chapter of Ireland's genetic story. Beginning in the late 8th century, Viking attackers and colonists from Scandinavia started coming to Irish shores. Though frequently remembered for their raids, the Vikings also built settlements and married into local groups, particularly in cities like Dublin, Wexford, and Waterford. Vikings introduced Northern European DNA, which featured genes for paler skin, red or blonde hair, and blue or green eyes. 
These genes joined the iris gene pool and brought even more variation to feature like eye color. Though hazel eyes weren't common among the Vikings, their presence in the population raised the chance of mixed pigmentation features, supporting the growth of hazel eyes in places where Viking ancestry was integrated. Then the Norman invasion arrived in the 12th century. The Normans were a combination of Viking-descended French and native Franks, already mixed themselves, and they introduced fresh waves of continental European genes. Their coming brought more variety to the Irish gene pool, especially in eastern and southern areas. Later, during the Tudor and Stuart periods, English and Scottish colonists also introduced fresh European DNA to Ireland. Each wave brought fresh pigmentation genes, some leaning toward blue, some brown, many making space for hazel. What's striking is that, despite these centuries of transformation, Ireland never moved completely in one direction. The outcome? A remarkably balanced range of eye shades with hazel eyes at its center, flourishing as a consequence of both ancient separation and centuries of gentle, steady mixing. In Ireland, hazel eyes are more than a genetic trait. They're woven into the country's appeal, its folklore, and even its poetic expression. Irish writing, music, and storytelling have long praised the beauty of changing, expressive eyes, and hazel eyes, with their golden shine and shifting green shades, fit perfectly into that lyrical tradition. In Gaelic verse, eyes are frequently described in nature-based language like eyes like a hazel branch, eyes of the forest, or gold-green eyes like moss after rain. In Irish mythology, the hazel tree itself holds sacred status. It's linked with wisdom, intuition, and secret knowledge, particularly in the legend of the salmon of knowledge who ate hazelnuts that dropped into a sacred well. So when someone possessed hazel eyes, it wasn't simply about looks. It represented inner awareness, emotional depth, and spiritual power. Even today, hazel eyes are frequently viewed as distinctive and magnetic in Irish culture. In contemporary music, film, and romance, hazel-eyed characters are often showed as layered, inquisitive, and mysterious, reflecting the deep ancestry and mixed identity behind the feature. Hazel eyes are common in Ireland, but they're never ordinary. They represent a balance of ancient and modern, of legend and science of native origins and worldwide connections. In a nation that values its stories, hazel eyes have become a living emblem of the Irish spirit, mysterious, timeless, and distinctly beautiful. Hazel eyes in Ireland aren't simply a feature. They're a living mirror of 10,000 years of ancestry, from Mesolithic settlers to Neolithic cultivators, from Celtic warriors to Viking raiders and Norman lords. Every chapter brought color, literally, to the Irish gaze. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel and join me on this journey to keep uncovering the mysteries of history and the ancient world together.